Hi trainers, Greedon has just recently been released and there is a lot to say. I am making a hidden mechanics guide and I will have that ready probably tomorrow because there is just so much to go through. But here is one big issue I want to speak about with Greedent, and I've never seen this in any other MOBA before. To me, it's pretty shocking. I have no idea if this is intentional, but I do hope that they change it. One of Greedent's main features is its berries. These berries will heal Greedent and it also heals your allies, which is pretty cool. A defender that heals allies sounds pretty strong, but this is where it's just kind of... It's pretty bad actually. Let me just preface this by saying that I find Greedent to be super fun to play. It does feel harder than other Pokemon and sometimes a bit wonky, but it is super fun. I do think Greedent kind of needs some more polishing though and that is just my opinion. Okay, so Greedent can also heal your enemies. Yes, your enemies. So I tested this with my friend MaxiQ and it's just crazy that you can heal your enemies for quite a bit. It seems to be less than the heals on yourself, but it's still a heal that they can steal from you so you and your allies cannot heal. Here is also another example from MaxiQ's gameplay. He was fighting Gachomp and Sylveon and once he died, Sylveon and Gachomp took his berries and healed from it. We can't see Gachomp in this for some reason, but you can see Sylveon only healed from around two berries and the rest were picked up by Gachomp. Because of how Greedent throws its berries out as well, it's not hard for the enemies to take your heals. Greedent generally just throws it in front of itself. Greedent also throws berries out with its boosted attack and when it takes damage. So because berries can be thrown out passively and it's out of your control, enemies can take advantage of that and heal while fighting you. From my testing, it doesn't get thrown out randomly, it's always in the same general direction which is in front of you, and that means enemies who know how Greedent works will know where the berries will generally be going. You and your allies will also have to try and take all the berries in fights or just not leave them there, because it does take a while for them to vanish, so if you do leave them there, enemies could use that to their advantage since it's basically free heals. And there are some more things that are just insane. If the enemy team has a Greedent as well, the other Greedent can also stack from your berries too. Also, Snorlax is a passive where it gains movement speed when it's close to berries and it also gets extra heals from berries. So your berries will trigger for the enemy Snorlax, you will heal the enemy Snorlax even more and in team fights, an enemy Snorlax will actually just benefit off you using the berries, making it so much harder for your team. Snorlax basically just counters Greedent 100%. That's pretty much the important thing I want to talk about in this video. I am working on Hidden Mechanics Guide and there are a lot of things to unpack with Greedent, so feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified for that if you'd like. For now, the next video is about the patch. I'm going to finish up the testing to get the exact numbers and that will be out after this video. Other than that, what do you think about this trainers? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. I am pretty shocked that this is even a thing, honestly. But yeah, thank you so much for watching trainers. I'll see you in a bit. Bye!